This is the first in a series of tutorials on So You Want To Be An Artist. Today's topic is going to be about drawing. If you're going to be an artist, you're going to have to learn how to draw. And if you are going to learn to draw, you need to get hold of one of these. A sketchbook and a range of pencils. Now, any paper, any pencil or mark making object, such as a stick for example, can be used. The quality of the art materials will not in itself make you a great artist. It's what you do with the materials that's important. Why is the ability to draw important for an artist? Well, because learning to draw is about learning to see. Drawing is much more than simply a means of rendering and capturing a likeness. Drawing is a language with its own structure, just like any other verbal language. Drawing transforms our perceptions, the things we see, our thoughts, our ideas, and it makes them visible as an image, on paper for example. Drawing teaches us how to think with our eyes. So what actually is drawing? You have to realise that when you draw, every mark you make has its own character and quality. In fact, every mark is a little bit like a signature. It's unique. So it is really important to vary the marks you make when you're drawing, because each mark has a life of its own and tells a story. But how do you do this? Well, you do it by varying the pressure that you put on the pencil. Hold the pencil in different ways. Make different marks, rubbed marks, broken lines. Variation is the key. Varying the pressure and the weight of the mark is the visual equivalent of intonation in a voice. It gives colour and interest to the spoken word. If you make a drawing where all the lines and all the marks are the same thickness, it will flatten the drawing, it will flatten the object, it will not look three-dimensional. Just like a voice with the same intonation will sound very boring when there is no variation. You see the idea? Varying the pressure on the line or the mark during drawing, breaking or tapering the line can make it look much more interesting and can give a drawing a life of its own. Using this approach means every mark or line that you make has some sort of authority. It tells a story and therefore has some purpose. Try to think about what each mark you make is going to do. Don't just draw marks for the sake of drawing them because that's not really going to do anything. You have to realise when drawing that each line or mark has a life of its own. It has a meaning or plays a vital part in the construction of an image and therefore can be interpreted by the viewer. You've got no control over what his or her reaction will be to your mark. So what you need to do is to remember the most important thing about drawing is observation. Try to observe, observe what is in front of you. Try to understand what it is that's in front of you. Look for the tones, the colours, the lines, the shapes, the forms, the objects, and how these interrelate to each other. Try to train yourself to eliminate your preconceptions or other people's ideas of what you are observing. Try to see what is in front of you, not what you think you see or what you want to see, but what you actually see, that's important. So trust your vision. Finally, copying or drawing a photograph or other work of art has its uses. But remember, it's a secondary source. It is not your vision. If you are going to become an artist, you have to work from primary sources. Observe the real world and create your vision of it. Remember, people will be interested in your vision and your ideas, not a rehash of somebody else's vision, because that is never going to be as good as the original. 
Look out for the next video in this series where I will be talking about another question that you will need to consider if you are going to become an artist. Thank you for watching Art Tutorials Online. I hope you've enjoyed the video and are now considering what drawing actually is. Please subscribe to this channel where you will find lots of interesting videos about drawing and painting. If you want to support the production of these videos, then please check out my Patreon channel. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye!